So today we're going to show how to install the tubing on an Aseptico motor. This is the Aseptico 7000 motor from MIS, but the process is the same for the Aseptico 6000 and also the 7000 Elite. So the first thing you need to do is open the door, which you can do by pushing on the button and pulling up with your thumb is the easiest way. Note that if you push really quickly, it won't open itself. So push, release. I'm going to take the tubing, start from the end that has the irrigation spike. I'm going to take the first of the metal connectors and slide it in from the side. It locks in place. Stretch the tubing across underneath here, out the front. When you push down on the door, you need to pull out on the tubing so that the black o-ring is on the outside. That will ensure that the tubing is stretched properly over the wheel. Stretch this over to the side for best results. You don't want to puncture the bag over the motor because if it leaks you're going to damage your motor. The AE23 tubing that comes with the motor is fully autoclavable. So compared to disposable tubings, this can save quite a lot of money. Of course, you still need to autoclave the tubing every time, which you should do at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Should you need to purchase a new set, a complete new set, the AE23 price in 2012 is $55. I strongly recommend you order a spare, that way if there's a leak anywhere along the way or it gets damaged, you have it. You cannot use tubings from another motor with this motor. Meaning you cannot take the WH tubing and put it in the aseptico or vice versa. Over time, this small section of tubing may show damage. The reason for that is because it's in constant contact with the wheel, therefore it's getting beat up a little bit from the wheel itself. This tubing, you might be able to see a little bit of the scuff marks that show. So, aseptico provides every motor with a set of 10 replacement tubings for this section. So all you need to do is cut here and here to pull this section off and replace it with a new one. Remember to keep the black rubber ring in place here because that's your indication that you've got the motor tubing correctly loaded.